Hey, what's up? It's Adrian from ProductionCrate.com. What's up, everybody? Chris Kelly here with ProductionCrate.com. And if that's not an intro, I don't know what is. <laughs> We're professional wrestlers now. That's great. You know, I, you know, <laughs> you know that I know that most people watching this video have already done lightsaber shots before, okay? We've been doing them probably more than 10 years, don't you think, Chris? I'd say exactly 10 years. Happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> wonder how many lightsaber shots Nico's done. Nico, you ever done a lightsaber shot? Nope. Nope. Okay. Zero for him. But the old method of going frame by frame with masks is tedious and frankly unsustainable. It takes way too long. How are we ever supposed to get these shots done? I, I do acknowledge that this is a straw man argument because nobody does this anymore. <laughs> so Video Copilot, of course, has the plugin Saber, which is pretty awesome. We're not here to insult it. It is a very not. good plugin, but it does have some limitations. No, no, no it does. Do it does, it does, it does. <laughs> but it's a great plugin. So internet, don't be angry with us. Everybody loves Video Copilot. Have guess. you guys ever seen the comment section in Video Copilot? It's so creepy. People love him so much. <laughs> Andrew, come hang out with me. Andrew Kramer, you're perfect and you don't take too long to finish projects. <laughs> Action Essentials 3, due to come out 2013. Wow, do I want to make a diss track on Andrew Kramer? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> First of all, both the Saber plugin and the old school mask method rely on having a practical lightsaber prop with a blade. If you try to animate a Saber layer with no blade for reference, well, you just can't. It's gonna come out really shaky and bad no matter how much you work at it. With our method, we still shot with the blades out whenever possible, but we're not limited by their size. <sighs> Toy lightsabers are usually short and stocky, whereas actual lightsabers are long and elegant. In all of our lightsaber shots, we were easily able to make our lightsaber blades longer than the toys would otherwise allow. Sometimes having an actual blade isn't practical or even safe. This shot here would have been way more difficult if the lightsabers had their blades out. Nah, I could do it. <laughs> well, look at this shot. If my lightsaber had a practical blade, I'd risk smacking Chris right in his face. Right in his face! Right. How great that would have been. But it's not a good way to treat an actor that you actually like. What about this shot? Do you think you could animate this frame by frame with no reference in the footage at all? Our solution is to do it with Element 3D. Another video co-pilot plugin. And see, we do love Video Copilot. We do, we do. I was kidding before. We love you, Andrew Kramer. The optional first step is to track your lightsaber prop with whatever method you prefer. Here, we are using Mocha. Let's go, Mocha! Mocha! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have varying levels of success with this. If it's gonna be a boring shot with very little movement, it's gonna work great. But if you're doing lots of wild swinging like you probably would if you had a lightsaber, this might not work at all. If it doesn't, that's fine. We can do the effect without it. You can see that our track actually completely failed halfway through. I'm freaking out! And that's okay. Oh. An incomplete or ugly track can still be useful for this. Don't let the bullies get to you. The bullies like us. <laughs> Let's add a new solid and apply Element 3D. We love you, Andrew Kramer. <laughs> In the Element interface, we can use the various primitives to make an object that roughly matches our lightsaber handle. A cylinder might be all you need, but in our case, our lightsaber flares out a bit at the top. So it's useful to include details like that, which we're gonna do with a short cone shape. Bo -bo -bo back in After Effects, we'll make a group mm -hmm. null and then parent the group null to our track. You also need to make sure to turn on the 3D switch on your track null or else it will cause unpredictable behavior. Whoa! Even though it's not a 3D track, just check the switch, okay? Why, why are we even negotiating this? Why are we this? talking about this? Just do it. Just do it. This do is it. how it's done. What do you think you're your role here is? <laughs> We're the guys that tell you what to do, and you're the guys who do it. Check it. Check the switch. <laughs> also, delete the scale keyframes on the track knoll if you have any, please. Pretty please. Okay. All right, now we can turn down the opacity of the mm. Element 3D Solid so we can actually see what we're doing. If you like, you can go back into Element and change the handle to a brighter color so you can really see it. Pick something that contrasts with your footage. When Adrian says opacity, it's like the exact equivalent of, of fingernails on a chalkboard. All right, now we'll just try <laughs> and match the position, scale, and rotation of our actual lightsaber prop. You'll probably never get it to be perfect, but close enough is close enough. Are you listening, Theodore? Theodore, pay attention. And don't slouch. 
<laughs> All right, so now we need to go through the whole clip, animating the position and orientation of our CG lightsaber handle to match the real one. It's best to avoid animating the scale. As your prop lightsaber gets closer or further away from the camera, try animating the Z position to compensate as much as possible. You can animate the scale as a last resort if you really need to, it's just not as accurate. If you were able to get a track, it should make this process a bit faster, but even if you didn't, it should still be faster and easier than animating the lightsaber masks by hand or even using saber. Not that we don't love you, Andrew Cameron, because yeah, we do. We're using your plugin, Andrew. Andrew, <laughs> stop yelling at us. <laughs> Don't add us in the comments, Andrew Kramer. He's always in our Andrew comments. Andrew Kramer yelling at anything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> During this process, it might be smart to lock your element layer and your footage, as well as any other large layers you have in your comp. Since it's kind of hard to grab these nulls sometimes, you don't want After Effects to think you're trying to select something else because that's going to be extremely annoying during this process. Just save yourself the headache and lock those layers. Go and lock them. Buck, buckle them down. So now that we have the, buckle them down. <laughs> so now that we have that lightsaber stand in tracked on to the best of our ability, let's go back into the scene setup to make a blade. Ooh. Add a capsule primitive and change the radius and height until it looks like a blade. You can also change the cap aroundness to make the end of the blade sharper or rounder. Sharp and pointy might be good for a bad guy, but it's me we're talking about, so obviously I'm a big softy. Let's keep around. It's more of a pokey stick. Chris ain't trying to poke people. You might want, no, not might, definitely. I'm telling you. <laughs> you definitely want to add an emissive material to the blade, and the easiest way to do that is to use the flat color preset and then just change the color to white. But back in After Effects, open up Elements Output setting and tell it to show the illumination. Now we just see the blade and no handle. Let's put it on and add transfer mode and activate the motion blur. If you have a lot of fast movement in your scene, you'll want to turn the motion blur settings up really high so you can't see the steps anymore. This is going to be a bit of a render hog. Oh no, here Sorry comes the that. render hog. Uh, Get out of here, you stinky. Didn't know we still had this clip. <laughs> we do, I checked before I wrote this script. <laughs> In some situations, you can get away with using real smart motion blur instead, but that's actually gonna look worse than the real thing for a lightsaber effect. We're also gonna add a levels effect and we're gonna bring down the white point until that motion blur starts to look solid. You know, like a lightsaber. Now to make it glow. Whoa. Canceled for season three, sorry. Oh, that's a shame. We're gonna use the new radiant glow effect from Production Crate. First, we'll change the method to natural, which is more of an inverse square fall off. And if you don't know what that means, it's just math that mimics the way the light behaves in real life. Me, me, me. <laughs> oh, math. Math, math, math. You can also just leave it on the default if you want. It's technically less realistic, but it certainly looks good. Let's turn our threshold all the way down to 0.001, that's as low as it goes, and we'll crank the intensity until it starts looking real hot. Or should I say warm? No, hot! <laughs> Open the color selection and check custom tint, and we're gonna make it blue. As you move through the different shades of blue, it's gonna make the lightsaber look way different. So you wanna make sure that you check the prettiest one so you can be the belle of the ball. <laughs> nice Cinderella blue. Hey, here's a question. Yes? If the the carriage and, and the, the dress and everything disappeared at midnight, why didn't the glass slipper disappear? Um, I think it's because the fairy godmother was effing with us. Oh man, she playing games. She was playing games, dude. Anyway, <laughs> what, what I was talking about. <laughs> now, if you want to add a bit of subtle flair to your lightsaber, here's how. Make a new spotlight. You'll need to go to Layer, Transform, Auto Orient, and make sure that Auto Orient is off. Hold down Shift and parent it to your group null and move it so it's right at the base of the lightsaber. Hit T to bring up the intensity. I'll click the stopwatch to add this expression. V equals two world, capital world, VEC, capital V, open parentheses, <laughs> open bracket, zero comma zero comma one, close bracket, close parentheses, semicolon. I equals V, open bracket two, close bracket, asterisk value, semicolon, math with a capital M dot max, open parentheses, I comma zero, close parentheses, semicolon. We'll put it in the description. Wow. That'll be easier. <laughs> or do you guys want me to read it to you again? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so we know that sounds like nonsense. You could copy it from the screen, or if you're watching on YouTube, obviously, like Chris said, we'll put it in the description. All this expression does is calculate the angle of the light in relation to the camera and adjust the intensity accordingly. So when the light is looking at us, it's bright, but when it looks away, it's darker. Now you can add a new solid and use any flare plugin that can utilize light, such as optical flares or no light factory, and it should work just fine. In our last video, we discussed the importance of practical lighting, and that's more true with lightsabers than anything else. Chris, I gotta say I'm loving the new you. Thank you. Having some actual colored lights in your shot is going to be really useful and really make the difference between an amateurish shot, amateurish shot, <laughs> and a professional. I don't know where my accent went there at the end. It went poorly. <laughs> <Let's say that. laughs> this tutorial was a great excuse for us to try out our newly expanded selection of light sword sounds from Soundscrate, including new swinging, clashing, activation, and deactivation sounds. Those sounds are choice. One way to get the most out of these lightsaber sounds is to mix and match them with each other or with other sound effects from Soundscrate. Adding a synth fall to one of our light sword activation can give it some oomph. <laughs> adding whoosh sounds or spaceship flybys can emphasize a saber swing, and adding some of our welding sparks or even earthquake sounds can help sell those long clashes. If a swing sound isn't matching up to the timing of your footage, hit the R key in Premiere and select the Rate Stretch tool and drag your clip to the desired length. Doing this will change the pitch of the swing, but adding a pitch shifter and adjusting the transpose ratio should bring it back to its original tone. In our last video, we went over all the hundreds of Star Wars videos we made in the past, so we won't bore you with all that again. We'll just play it in four seconds. <laughs> Two, three, four. Just know if you need a Star Wars effect, we probably have already made a tutorial for it. And if you don't, leave a comment below. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. I'm ready. Oh, let's go. I'm bringing back the pro wrestling. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> leave a comment. <sighs> I beseech you. <laughs> I can't think of any wrestler slogans. Also, our wrestlers need a drink of water. <laughs> Are very Brother. thirsty and dehydrated. <laughs> Mine's a pirate. I, uh, I would also like to be a pirate. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go do this. Later, creators. <laughs> Good, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Arr.